Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all having a great day. Of course, today is Friday, unless you're watching this sometime in the future, but anyway, we're going into the weekend. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And today we're celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday, Seth Gregory. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. And I hope this video makes your day even better. And if anyone out there would like to make a birthday request or just a normal suggestion of their own, feel free to do so, but there are some rules. Of course, the most important rule is that you submit your birthday request at least one month before your birthday. I really, really, really appreciate if you did that because if you don't, I'm sorry, but I can't do your birthday request video. And there is a video that I made a while back explaining how to make a suggestion and the birthday request. The link to it is at the top of the description below. So I highly recommend checking out that video because you watch that video and you're now a pro at making suggestions and birthday requests on my channel. So please do check that video out. And before we get into the review, yes, I know the screen is quite a bit darker than usual. And I'm sorry, but that is simply because I'm reviewing a blue car. Because check it out. I removed Vladimir from the picture and it brightens up. I bring in a non-blue car like Victor Hugo and it stays nice and bright like it usually is when I don't review a blue car. I've noticed this quite frequently and quite recently because I reviewed Hank Weathers and the Variations of the King and I noticed a trend. It's like, hmm, it always gets darker when I have a blue car. So I don't know why, it's kind of annoying, but from what I'm seeing on the screen right now, it doesn't look terrible, so hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. And to reward you guys for it, I will be showing a little sneak peek for my review tomorrow, this Saturday, at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And now let's dive into the review of Vladimir Trunkup, of course, one of the villains of Cars 2. So starting with his appearance in the movie, he did appear kind of toward the, I don't know, the second half of the movie. He first appeared at the Porter Cores of Meeting because all of the Lemonheads came there to talk about, you know, what's going on. We got Victor Hugo, J. Kirby Gremlin, and of course, Tubbs Pacer as well. These are the lemon heads. They represent each of their bodies. Like we have the trunk ofs, gremlins, pacers, and hugos. And obviously, Vladimir Trunkov heads all of the trunk ofs. Professor Z was there as well, and a bunch of other bodyguard lemons. And then he appeared later on in the movie at London. Of course, he was in that glass box watching the race. And then he left that box to go fight the Radiator Springs Townies in the streets of London. Unfortunately, though, he failed because Sheriff booted him with one of those yellow car boots like DJ has right here, and he couldn't drive anywhere and therefore got arrested. And I assume he went to prison under, you know, trial. He went trial and all that great stuff. And so hopefully he's still in prison, you know, in Cars 3. I would assume so because he was a part of this big organization that killed some cars. So yeah, you gotta watch the movie if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. But speaking of him getting that yellow boot, that released, yes, Vladimir Trunk of With Car Boots actually being released this year. I saw it in the package on eBay a couple days ago. I didn't buy it though because it was quite expensive. I mean, it wasn't terribly expensive. It was less than $20, but I know I'll be able to find him in a store or buy him on Amazon for around $4 instead of like $14 to $15, whatever the star was asking for. So that release will be coming soon and should hit stores very, very soon for the majority of us collectors. But moving on to his previous releases, at least of this regular version of Vladimir Tronka, which is the original. Vladimir Tronka with car boot is his first variation. So Vladimir here was originally released in 2012 as a single in the Porta Corza like motif collection. That was the whole background. And of course, I will show a picture to refresh your memory. Then in 2013, he was re-released as a single in the Lemon series, and same thing in 2014, single in the Lemon series. They took a break for 2015 and then came back for 2015, or my bad, 2016, in the Oil Rig Getaway series, and that is the one I have right here, as you can see. 
This is the only one I have in the package of Vladimir Tronco. I do plan on getting two of the Vladimir Tronco with the car boot to open and one to keep in the package. That's what I do nowadays. I didn't do it back in 2013, 2014 in those earlier years because I simply didn't have the money and that's why I don't have the other ones to show and that's why I'm showing pictures on the screen instead. So now that's all for the introduction stuff and let's get into the review of him. Well actually he was released in a 2012 12 pack that was exclusive to Target so forgot to mention that one earlier. So now let's get into the review of him. I usually have that T, you guys know the T which is the wooden, kind of looks like a pencil but it's not a pencil, it's a T that you know you put a golf ball on and then you hit the golf ball but I use that as like my little pointer stick and I lost it. It's quite a devastating story. So, you know, when I'm not recording, I put stuff here because I accumulate stuff during the week, like car stuff, like that road trip and Mac back there that you can't really see. I did get that. I got a case from Get Me Collectibles, some random stuff I found throughout the week, you know, just random stuff. I put it here because it's like a nice open surface. And I was pulling something there, and the T, which is, you know, right where the camera is right now, I hit it and it fell off the table and it was just gone. It just disappeared. It hit my chair and I don't know where the heck it went because I was on the floor, I was down for like 15 minutes looking for the gosh darn tea and I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm looking around right now as I talk to you guys, just kind of looking on the floor beneath my feet. I'm not seeing anything so it was quite devastating so guess I'm going to have to grab another tea. I have plenty but don't for today. I don't have it for today, but that's okay. We got fingers for this kind of stuff. So getting back to Vladimir here, he's actually a very small car. Comparing him to Lightning McQueen, Lightning McQueen is a lot bigger than him. So you can see that there. Just for size comparison, if you don't have Vladimir, you can compare him to McQueen here. Very, very cool. You know, I like that size difference actually because it makes sense to the movie. He's got his mean expression on there with a little smirk. He's got that little hood ornament there that's red. He only has one side view mirror. I assume that's how these things were made because he's a pretty, you know, he's a fancy car. I'm not saying that trunk ofs are fancy cars, but himself, you know, he makes sure that he has the best parts and everything. So I don't think he would drive around with a missing side view mirror because of course he is the head of the trunk of family. He has this yellow stripe on the side here, yellow rims of course being blue mainly, and his license plate reads 19-71 SMK. And then there's like a little logo there for his car brand. Can't really read it, it actually says like KIGS, like K-I-G-Z. I know it's like a Zapor Z, which is like the real life car that he's based on, I think. Zapor Z or something? Here's the base if you're interested. And that's pretty much all for him. Did want to show just so you guys know. Here's the boot. So just imagine him with the boot on. A little bit smaller to accommodate for that smaller tire. Tire, my bad. And there you go. You have the car. Vladimir Chunk of with car boot. And he does have a different expression as well. So that's cool. And there is one other trunk of in the cars line. And that is Petrov Trunk of. And there's Tolga Trunk of as well. Can't forget about him. I reviewed him actually quite recently. If you want to see my review of him, the link will be down in the description below. Unfortunately, he has the same license plate. And I know Tolga Trunkov has the same license plate as well. And this is like the rusty version of the fancy head of it, you know. He leads this guy. He's like a minion to this guy. So there you go. There's a nice little comparison. It actually looks like Vladimir does not have a mouth plate, whereas Petrov does. Yeah, he definitely does have that mouth plate there. Quite unfortunate. I will be actually reviewing Tolga Trunkov again because he's in a recent 2017 case. There's one more car that I need to get to complete the case and then I can do my review of it. So you can check him out in that video and I compare him to, I will compare him to these two guys. And of course I reviewed him back in November for a birthday request. So just check out that video if you want to see Tolga. Just showing Petrov in this video. And here are the other lemon heads. This is actually my favorite, J. Kirby Gremlin. Only released once, so he's pretty rare. 
back in 2013. Tubbs Pacer, not rare. He was released a lot, so he's not that rare. Victor Hugo, he hasn't been released too much, so he's kind of rare, but he is getting re-released this year. In the same case as Vladimir Trunkov with car boots, so that will be out very, very soon. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and thank you very much for watching. Again, happy birthday, Seth Gregory. I hope you're having a great day today. Maybe you got some cars or planes as presents, maybe some money, maybe a phone, you know, whatever floats your boat. And as promised, here is the sneak peek for tomorrow's review. So, you know, for the poll, this will be one of the options. Oh boy, it's Miss Freather. This is an absolutely humongous school bus. Like, I don't even know how this will fit in the deluxe packaging. It's, it is pretty long, it's huge. So yeah, this will be one of the options. Pretty sure it's gonna win just because it looks so awesome. And I just got this one in the mail, so I'm super excited about it. And yeah, from Cars 3, of course, if you guys don't know. She, he, I don't know, hasn't appeared in any of the trailers yet. So it's not like she or he or it. Miss Fritter is not too widely known just yet for all the Cars fans. But she will, he will, whatever. It will because it seems like I'll have a decently big part in the movie. So thank you guys again for watching. I hope you all did enjoy. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for that review. Of course, it'll be of Danaco Cruz Ramirez. And if you guys vote for Miss Fritter for me to review, then that review will come out on Saturday if it does win. I think it will win. What do you guys think? I mean, everyone's got to love that big school bus. I mean, I think Nightway could be some good competition, but we'll see tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Bye now.